In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle within us the fire of your divine love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of your faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us by the same Spirit we may be truly wise and rejoice in his consolation through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady Fatima, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. All God's angels and saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning to all of you. Given that we're in the month of May, and we're heading toward the last, last part of May, I would like to uh, talk to you about Mary. To have a good Mariology, I think it's good to have a harmonious blend of what is called the two Ds, Mary in devotion and Mary in doctrine. I repeat, the two Ds, Mary in devotion and Mary in doctrine. Today we'll talk about Marian doctrine, because the, the doctrine without devotion can be pretty dry, pretty arid, but the devotion without the doctrine can degenerate into what I call sentimentalism. So today I'd just like to review with you what are the, what are the four Marian dogmas? Do you know? What are the four Marian dogmas? A dogma is a, an official teaching of the church that has been proclaimed in an official way in which we have to believe. Otherwise, we really cannot call ourselves Catholic. So say, for example, you, uh, you said that, okay, there are four persons in the Trinity. That's a dogmatic theological error. If you were to say that Christ only had one nature, that's a Christological error. If you said that there's no hell, that's an eschatological error. These are theological errors that we have to um, reject. So with respect to Mariology, there are Four Marian dogmas. So let's go through them quickly and um, always be able to, to defend Mary and these wonderful privileges that God has given to Mary, who is the mother of God, the mother of the church, and the mother of all of us. So here they are. I'll go through them, I'll mention them uh, quickly, then I'll just explain them very briefly for lack of time. The Immaculate Conception of Mary, the Perpetual Virginity of Mary, Mary's Divine Maternity, and finally, Mary's Assumption into Heaven in Body and Soul. So let's take them one at a time. First is the Immaculate Conception. This was a dogmatic proclamation that was made in the year 1854, Pius IX, and it proclaims that Mary was conceived without the stain of original sin. Because of the sin of Adam and Eve, all of us are conceived and were brought into the world with the stain of original sin. And that has to be washed away by the sacrament of baptism. Mary, in preview of the merits of Christ, and that he would die on the cross for us and save us, she was given the unique privilege of being preserved. And that's the key word, preserved from the stain 
of original sin. For that reason, we say, O Mary, conceive without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Second privilege, second Marian dogma, is Mary's perpetual virginity. Mary was virgin before the birth of Christ. Mary was virgin during the birth of Christ. And Mary was virgin after the birth of Christ. For that reason, we say the perpetual virgin virginity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The third Marian dogma is, according to most Mariologists and theologians, the greatest of all of Mary's privileges. And it's Mary's divine maternity. What does that mean? Mary is the mother of God. This was proclaimed in the year 431 in the Council of Ephesus. Thanks be to God to the work of St. Cyril of Alexandria. Mary is the mother of God. And we honor this, this dogmatic statement. We honor this every time we pray the Hail Mary. Because we say, Holy Mary, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We honor this dogmatic privilege of Mary every time we celebrate Christmas. Christmas is the birth of Jesus, and Mary is the mother of Jesus. We also celebrate this on January 1st. So we start off the new, the new um, civil year, January 1st, celebrating Mary as the mother of God, and Paul VI also added to it the Universal Day of Peace. So we've arrived at the last Marian dogma, which is celebrated in the middle of the summer and the middle of August. So that is August 15th. And this is the assumption of Mary into heaven in body and soul. This beautiful privilege teaches us that at the end of Mary's earthly life, that she was taken into heaven in both body and soul. This was proclaimed by Pope Pius XII, November 1st, 1950. So there are only two in heaven in body and soul right now. That would be Jesus through his ascension that we're going to be celebrating on Sunday. Jesus went up to heaven, body and soul, by his own merits, by his own power. Whereas Mary, the Assumption Mary, Mary was taken up into heaven as in her body as well as her soul. So to honor Mary, May is the month of Mary. I think we have to cultivate a very tender, loving devotion to Mary by singing the Regina Chaley, wear our scapular, pray the rosary, pray the family rosary, but also by calling to mind these wonderful, wonderful privileges that God has given to Mary. And these are called the Marian dogmas, these statements by the church that we are honored to believe and to defend and to protect. So what are they again? First Mary dogma, the Immaculate Conception. The second Mary dogma, the assumption of Mary into heaven, both body and soul. The fourth, third Mary dogma, the greatest, Mary's divine maternity, that Mary is truly, she's the mother of God. And the fourth Mary dogma, is the assumption of Mary into heaven, body and soul.
So have a great day, and through the intercession of Mary and St. Joseph, may God bless all of you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.